This is Grant Van Cleve, the incoming president of Tech Coast Angels, and you are watching Eye on Business. Welcome to Eye on Business Innovation, where we look at innovative companies, innovative products, and innovative people. And tonight we have the pleasure of having with us Grant Van Cleve. Grant, welcome to the show. Thanks, Ben. It's an honor. Well, it sounds like you've been a busy guy. You just joined TCA a few months, short months ago, but you're already the leading activity uh, uh, doer in the entire organization from what I've seen of the statistics. Well, it hasn't been a slow period. <laughs> okay. It's been more than a few months. I think it's been 15. But 15, okay. Yeah, I'm uh, doing about a deal a month, and uh, probably half those I was the deal lead on. So okay. it's a lot of output, and, but it's fun. And you've just been elected the new... I will be president of okay. the Orange County chapter of Tech Coast Angels starting at the end of the year. Okay, so what led up to all this? What were you doing before that that made you want to do this as a almost a time and a half kind of activity? Well, a time and a half, I think I've always been a time and a half guy. Okay. Uh, always putting a, a lot into whatever I'm doing. But I was doing real estate development before this. Okay, okay. So... Uh, real estate development as a day job, and then be on the side of that was always helping start up nonprofits okay. on the side. Okay. And real estate development itself, um, within the real estate spectrum, you know, you could be managing an office building or fine tuning assets financially for okay. a better return, yeah. or you can be taking an empty hillside and turn it into a community. <laughs> okay. I was this side, I was the early stage, and okay. uh, in this latest downturn, and just actually moving, I moved here from starting from scratch and real estate crowd, sector was crowded and the market okay. wasn't great and people helped me realize that ultimately I was a startup guy. Okay. I wasn't a real estate guy, I wasn't uh, a non-profit guy starting these other activities, okay. I, but there was always a, a continual theme in there that I was helping get things going off the ground and once they're rolling, I lose interest. Okay. So they said rather than do one of those at a time, why don't you explore the angel investing world and get involved in a bunch of companies at once. So exploring you've done. So you've also, you just mentioned though that you've been a deal lead and there aren't many of those around. So what's your secret to being a deal lead? Oh, insanity. I yeah. Okay. So that's a, that, that's a good prerequisite. Put to, in extra time and don't yeah. get anything extra out of it. But um, maybe for our audience, explain what the deal lead does. I mean, okay. So in an angel group like Tech Coast Angels, we're a collection of individuals who choose to congregate together to see yep. deals together, to do, do due diligence together, hopefully make better decisions okay. and also pool yeah. our wisdom to hopefully add insights to those okay. companies. But somebody's got to herd those cats. Somebody's got to do some of that uh, administrative legwork. And um, yeah, there's a certain element of, I wouldn't call it selling, but of yeah, yeah. promoting to some yeah, extent. Yeah. If you dig in, you find something's good, people need to help kind of remove those obstacles to get okay. to that point of writing a check. So I, I naturally do that anyway. So I might as well just take the title. So there aren't many people that step up to be deal leads. So what, what is it that can go wrong that keeps more people from doing it? Golf tea time? So. <laughs> Um, what could go but wrong? typically, as, as you know, our angel members will, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm interested, but uh, oh, you know, when it comes time for the deal lead, everybody gets short arms, and your hand keeps going up. So what is it you're willing to do that others are less willing to do? Well, maybe that's a secret you're supposed to tell me now, so I'll stop <laughs> doing it. Um, well, it's good we had this little chat. It's, uh, <laughs> there's, it, largely it's a time factor, but okay. I think... I have to be humble in a sense of I've done produced a lot of output yeah. in this last year, but I, it's also my first year okay. doing it. And there's crap people have been there for 15 yeah, yeah. years and doing yeah. it again and again. And they've got stories from in the trenches of having done all this. And they say, I'll take a step to the side. Um, uh, yeah, I sort of mentioned that sort of side of the, the element of creating some enthusiasm behind it. That just okay. comes naturally okay. to me. So. Okay. Okay. Um, I think people get reluctant about that. They don't necessarily want to ask somebody to write a check. Gotcha. They don't want okay. to be okay. have that awkward moment. They'll just sort of throw their idea out there and see what happens. And I like to grab hold of it and okay. promote okay. ideas. So you've been actually investing in many of these deals yourself. What yeah. kind of criteria do you use in making the decision of I'm in, I'm out, I'm, I want to do more due diligence, whatever? I can't give you that secret sauce. Oh, man, come on. That's what these viewers are paying all this money for. Uh, no, I wouldn't say there is a secret sauce. I don't know if these investments are going to work. I yeah. am a uh, fairly intuitive investor. Okay. Uh, 
I don't want to say that in a sense that I invest on, on a whim, but I can fairly quickly decide okay. Uh, okay. where this thing is going to head, or at least change the nature of the discussion from a, you know, maybe I'll sit back and perhaps if I get to a certain point, I at a certain fairly quickly decide this has got decent chance, and then the due diligence is just making sure there's nothing that I'm missing okay. Okay. Um, along the way. So I've done a lot of things, a lot of team building work, okay. a lot okay. of leadership of individuals, a lot of uh, seeing what trips up organizations, and it's kind of bringing in a multidisciplinary approach to that. So I feel like I have a decent nose for catching some of those okay. dangerous issues quickly. So if you translated some of that knowledge and experience into advice for entrepreneurs, what are two or three of the things you might want to tell them before they submit their application? Uh, well, one is to be sure you want to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, okay. It comes out fairly quickly if somebody is actually a corporate person or yeah. just doesn't have the tolerance for the risk mm -hmm. or just... Uh, unclearness about a lot okay. of the steps okay. ahead related to that and I uh, people will, will all say the right things they read the articles yeah. about what you're supposed to be to be an entrepreneur yeah. and they have they want to have the independence of doing something but when it gets down to it they don't they don't have that kind of uh, deep desire okay. to right. uh, deal with that ambiguity um, in addition to that there's just a, a grit level of really all in and deeply invested in time and your own money okay. and it's a little complicated to say because I'm not a big believer in debt okay. personally for somebody yeah. but in the other sense if you're hoarding up something and this is just sort of an idea you're sort of throwing out there uh, it doesn't sell very well to okay. an investor you okay. want to see that sense of being all in okay okay now what about advice on the other side for the for the angels and you know they're trying to in some sense, follow your lead. In some sense, they're supposed to be independent, make their own decisions, of course. Mm -hmm. But but you've now seen a bunch of deals. You've shepherded or led a bunch of right. deals. Any patterns you see that uh, you know investors or prospective investors ought to be aware of? Patterns. Oh, well, the first insight that might come out of that would be that there is more money to be invested than is being invested typically okay. now obviously there is the, the ocean's big and there's lots of people with money under the mattress or okay. money invested in a duplex on some apartment bringing in some rental income they could sell and put into something but uh, i was actually surprised the number because it's not just a lot a number of deals but a few of them we did we were larger than average and they closed okay. faster than average okay so the money was actually there ready to write the check when we feel like it's kind of pulling money yeah. out yeah. all the time I think we miss the fact people are actually still ready to be motivated by a good idea and put high risk money out there. So, okay. um, some of that's pushing to find those deals that are okay. that interesting, okay. but it's also, I think, from our side, daring to uh, to probe people a little bit. You know, what's okay. stopping you from doing this? Okay, or? okay, good. Okay. Now, you're, uh, I'm not sure what the proper term is, president elect. Um, and, uh, you know, I won't ask you what your campaign platform was, but, but I guess what I will ask you is where would you like to see Orange County Tech Coast Angels go in the future? Where would I like to see it go? Uh, well, I mentioned that a little bit about size, the amount of investments we're doing, but I'd like to see deals close a little bit faster. Okay. So okay. that's getting a few more people involved in that due diligence okay. process okay. and then actively getting people to make a yes or no decision uh, more quickly. Um, but I am, I, I mentioned that earlier that I, I think there's more money out there to be invested. As a, Orange County in particular, we have a large amount of real estate money. So okay. it wasn't an accident. I just said, you've got that you know, okay. duplex over there. Why not throw some of that into something like this? Um, it's not just an issue of money, real estate. The same way I described that about myself. Real estate development okay. was like a startup business. There are a whole lot of real estate developers, a whole lot of people who've made their money in that sector. Okay. And they were entrepreneurial. Okay. So even though Silicon Valley has this, or within Southern California, LA has a little bit more startups, Orange County has a whole lot of okay. real estate okay. startup money and people. I'd like to get a few more of those people uh, involved. Gotcha. Okay. Not only more members for the group, but members who've got uh, some capacity they didn't even realize. Okay. An appetite for risk, an ability to catch all those variables, uh, 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 sense that you could give birth to something and pass it on. That's okay. what real estate development is too. All those have a, a lot in common with okay. startup business, which okay. was part of my own story. I'd like to be a part of drawing some of those people out from the Orange County. 
Well, so let me ask you as kind of a final question. Is there any part of your story you'd like to tell the audience that I haven't been smart enough to ask you about that might encourage uh, more people into the, into the boat? And Something else to, I mean, I guess the only thing that I would say, and maybe that's part of encouraging people to get involved in it more, is um, there's a creative process okay. that is okay. so much fun to be a yep, part of. Yep. So that can be an encouragement for somebody to get entrepreneurial, or it yep, can be yep. a, uh, an encouragement to whether you bought and re-rented that mm -hmm. duplex I mentioned, or you could be a part of a dozen companies. Yep, yep. You start to get involved and you see something that was nothing, or a, an empty spot in a market, a niche, yep, yep. and you created a product and it got to market and lives were changed and there was a financial reward for it. It's not about an asset class with a certain, yeah, yeah. it's a chance to be a part of that creative process. And I have to tell you I'm having the, the time of my life. Okay. This is the most interesting thing I've been a part of. So. Well, sounds like you're the right guy for the job then. Well, I've got the energy and enthusiasm, so hopefully we'll be able to keep it going. Well, thanks for sharing your story with our audience, and uh, it's been a pleasure having you here. Thanks, thanks so again. Much, You've been watching Ion Business Innovation.